Hey, what is good guys and girls? My name is Moose from Jigun and Moose and welcome back to another Fishing Planet video. Now today we are over here on St. Croix Lake back for the Northern Pike. Now this is going to be an updated tutorial for you guys so you better make sure you pay attention. In this video I'm going to be showing you three different ways to catch Northern Pike. I'm going to be using three different rods but my setup does not matter at the moment because I'm going to be showing you what uh rods to use in my super guide uh, my super leveling up guide that's going to be coming out real soon but anyways for this video i am using all bottom uh rods so yeah in my opinion bottom rods are much better for northern pipe because if you use float rods then yeah they tend to drift away into the lily pads now the spot that i'm going to be using is the most common spot for the northern pike in saint croix lake in fishing planet i'm going to be spawning over here at the king of the green bay then you want to walk all the way around until you get to this point over here basically you spawn right over there and you want to walk all the way around until you come over here basically you have to be in line of this tree over here and you want to cast in between these lily pads and the reeds you'll obviously see a lot of people standing here so yeah it'll be an easy spot to find out now if this video helps you out in any way remember to hit the like button subscribe and yeah let's get into the video everyone make sure you pay attention to the weather the bait that i'm using and the hook size that i'm using i do explain everything in the video so yeah let's get into it everyone so for this video i have three different baits with me for the pike now you might be wondering why is it three different baits for the pike well because pike over here in saint croix actually allow you to use three different baits and these three different baits will determine whether you catch common trophy or trophy and unique now if you want to catch a lot of common pike this is highly recommended for beginners. I recommend you use small minnows with a 4 odd hook. Now why I say use small minnows when you first get A lot of people get shiners and everything when they get here. But it's basically going to make you spend a lot of money on shiners. And you're going to be catching less pike. And why I say less pike is because you're going to be having less rods in the water. And you're going to be having very light setup. So you won't be able to reel in the trophies that quick. So... I suggest first you focus on making a lot of money and by doing that you use small minnows of the 4 odd hook and this will allow you to catch pike throughout the entire day. Whether you have 3 or 4 rods in the water, stick to small minnows until you have a lot of money in your bank account. Then afterwards you want to switch to shiners now first i'm going to be casting in the water over here with small minnows and i'm going to be showing you that i'm only going to be catching common uh, pike with small minnows now with pike it's pretty interesting as well large minnows will get you trophies and uniques but there are specific days where you can catch uniques only and that is on the double peak days on the saint croix you will catch a unique one unique uh um, on the first peak and one unique on the second peak sometimes you only catch one unique on those double peak days but yeah that is the unique pike rotation on the St. Croix now for the hook sizes if you want to catch pike more frequently no matter what bait you are using but you won't get uh, trophies with these uh, hooks these hooks are going to be the 4 odd hooks. 4 odds going up to 5 odd hooks will catch you a lot of pike but will not get you the big guys. Very rarely you will get massive trophies uh, with those hooks. But yeah, if you want to catch pike more frequently, use the 4 odd hooks. Now, what do you do if you have enough money and stuff like that? You want to be using shiners a lot and also mix it up. Say on your strongest rod, I suggest that you use uh, large minnows on your strongest rod because you are bound to be catching massive massive pike uh, with the large minnows now what hook you want to use for the shiner and the large minnows you want to be using five odd hook and above the max i usually go to is about seven or eight so yeah that's a good size to use for the shiners and the large minnows so basically i'm going to be showing you all three baits and what uh, kind of uh, pike you can catch with all three baits so first of all we have the small minnows here in the water then i'm going to be going over to the shiners and then the large minnows Hey, 
as you can see with the small minnows we only got a common now we are just waiting for the shiners to bite and we will see what we get but if i do manage to get a bigger one with the large minnows or the shiners i will show you guys real quick Oh, I think we might have a decent sized trophy here with the shiners. Let's see what we get. Seems like a pretty uh, decent fish. So, yeah. Like I say, with shiners, you have a higher chance of getting trophies. And with large minnows, you can get massive trophies and uniques. So, yeah, that is how it works. As you can see, we got a 16 pounder here with the shiners and the 5 or 2. So, yeah, it's pretty simple, guys. Just a quick recap when you get your small minnows for all of the common northern pike, uh, that's going to help you make a lot of money quick and fill up your net real quick. And then you want to move over to shiners so you can get yourself the trophies and more XP. And then afterwards, you can mix it up between shiners and large minnows. One rod can probably have. Um, large minnows and the rest of them can have shiners so anyway guys this has helped you out a lot let me know down in the comments below also let me know if you catch any uniques i am on a single peak day today so i won't be catching any uniques i will just be catching a lot of trophies but yeah if you do manage to come across a unique on a single peak day or a double peak day let me know down in the comments below and yeah that's it for me everyone i hope this helped you out a lot let me know down in the comments section below and i'll catch you guys in the next one don't forget get to hit the subscribe button peace